hi guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video we're not gonna prolong the video we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it so just make sure you subscribe to the channel like comment and share and your subscribe button gray and not red let's go ahead and do the video and get it out the way okay y'all remember seeing me do these here taking y'all through the steps of how i come up with this okay remember when i told you guys i was not going to use the mesh bling to go around on the outside i i didn't I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep it wet, cute, neat, and simple. Those are my three things that I do. And guess what? So, to keep it from going into too much detail on these, this is what I decide to do, okay? What I decide to do, let me see. Okay, yeah. This is what I did. Right here. Okay, they're fully dry now. They're, they're totally dry. I cannot take it off, so make sure you do your test. Uh, of your snapback okay on all of them and i basically did that on all of them and i did order me some more epoxy um stickers because that's what this here clear thing is they're called epoxy stickers okay you can get them from anywhere google it etsy they're on there okay bottle caps the same you know where to get the badge reels from wherever you choose to dollar tree Amazon, but just always do your snapback, okay? And good adhesive works as well. And you need your paper and whatever you're going to print out on. Okay, but today is today about adding the charms, okay? Now, like I said, you don't have to go into big detail about whenever you're adding your charms and stuff. And today we're just going to be doing mainly the pink. I might add... Uh, um, some black seed beads depending on whatever i'm doing i might but we'll see but right now these are the little glass seed beads and they are 6-0 okay that's what they are that's what they are and the beads that i'm using are the wood beads and it's just a, remember guys beads are charms too is what they do they just reword it beaded charm that's what they say okay so today we're going to add our beads I beaded charm on here. But I think I'm, let me see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I only can add them to five. Well, I'm just going to go as long as I can because I don't want the video to be too long, okay? Y'all see where I had already started? These here are the wood beads. These are my um, Valentine's Day beads. But I can't use the white because it says Valentine's Day. Now, if you wanted to, you could, if you don't, this all you had to use, you can just very well paint over this, sand that off, keep the little heart back there, and you'll have a, you have a bead, and then just draw your own cancer awareness on there, okay? But I'm not going to do all of that, so I'm going to keep my little twine, and I'm just going to use, and you can very well paint these, but I'm just going to use the pink ones out of here. That's it. All of them will have that pink button, this here pink pink one below like i said i told y'all i was just gonna do a limited edition and that's what i'm going to do okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just take some out and you will definitely need your little tools i'm fixing to show y'all what i did do though okay this is what i'm using not the heart though these are cute so i'm gonna put these back there until i get to them <laughs> but let me show y'all what I did with this though. Okay, look. Okay, this is the hope. That's the hope. But look, I made my own little charm, my little beaded charm. And y'all have seen me make little stuff like the beaded charms and stuff before. Just check the videos and you'll see. Now, remember when I told you guys I was not going to do the hot glue with the um, mesh bling going around them? You can uh, remember what my go-to was, and I have showed y'all this before. Use what? You can use nail polish to go around this. And y'all see what I did with that? So it wouldn't just be the plain black. You can do two coatings, okay? Now you have just a cute little badge. You have a cute little ID badge, little badge reel. See? How cute is that? 
That's it. Now, if you want to, you can go and add a little heart charms to all of them. If you feel like that's not enough on here. But that's all I'm going to do to it because they'll have their little name tag and stuff below. And they can go from there. So we did that one. And I did, I'm fixing to show y'all what I did. Okay. You can use the the silver you can use what i'm gonna use some of the ones that i'm not gonna do mess with right now and i'm gonna lay it back down get your go-to or whatever your go-to is it could be glitter paint or whatever you choose to do just get it go around that's all you're doing but remember our go-to over here which is my go-to is what that nail polish y'all hear a little wind blowing that's my fan going y'all i have my fan on see and if you feel like that's not enough guess what hey you can go back add some more but i did add two coats but if you feel like that's not enough go back and add more and when it dries it's gonna be so cute it won't be like plain plain so that's one. I'm going to just slide that on there like that. On this side. I'm not going to mess with these here too much. Like I said. Ooh. Since I'm not going to mess with these as much. I'm showing y'all what I'm doing. Get you some nail polish. And go round. Remember this is nothing but nail polish. And it can easily come off. You guys know that. So if you want to put on gloves, and if you want to use gloves, if you're used to using gloves, you know, each is on. Each is on. And that's it. Like I say, go back over the second time. And that's all you do. Hold your um bad drill get your nail polish and go to town to the side turn and go to town that's all you do just that simple And it dries real quick, trust me. It dries real quick. So, I just thought I'd come on here real quick and do these right here with you guys. And what I do, I would definitely add a second coat into this. I will add a second coat to it. Get this. You can hold it by the cap if you want to. That's all you gotta do. That's all you got to do, guys. Sit it over here, let it dry the way over you have yours to dry at and I'm just working off a piece of um, cardboard little card stop little poster board that's all I'm using that's it and what I'm gonna do since I'm gonna be working with these here put the charms on it I'm not gonna use no more Glue. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna paint these I wait till I put the charms on them and then I'll go from there I would definitely go back over these again and they would I'm waiting on my um epoxy stickers the rest of them to come in and I will adhere to them when I do I will show y'all that video won't be long at all so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and I'm gonna put we're gonna do charms on these okay I'm not gonna paint these no more not going to paint no more. 
but I want y'all to see that so you can also use your nail polish if you choose to. If not, like I said, go back over it again so you can get the look like this. See that look? That cute look. It's not plain black. And it's dry. And it's glitter. Now, I do have some confetti. Let me show y'all that. I do have the confetti nail polish. Uh, see? And I might go around and put these in it. I don't know. I don't think I am because yellow and green in it. I'm not going to. So, but whatever you choose to do is fine. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. But let me show y'all real quick. Y'all have seen me do this before. And this is the um, 18 gauge, 1.2 mil. I done had this forever. Y'all can see this is nothing but the gas fire steel wire. That's it. Cut it off like so, about, about two inches, one to two inches. So for, I'm so used to doing it, so y'all. That's so, if y'all see me just, and then what I do, I do like this. I cut me off a couple and go from there like that, okay? And uh, we will definitely use some CBs, and you're gonna need these, your round nose, and your little wire pliers, okay? And your little wire cutters. And you some and you some wire. And you some CBs and you some charms of your choice. My choice is only just going to be the the big um 16 mil pink bead. That's what mine is gonna be. But for right now, I'm using these right here. I was gonna use some pink um different style pony beads. Um uh, not pony beads, but wood beads. Um what I'm looking for. The black. I have some black, but I don't want to get up, y'all. So, but I have some black, but we're going to use the CDs right here. And we're going to, I'm going to show y'all right quick. And that is that. Now let's do that one. Let's do a black and white one or this one. Okay. Let's see. CBs. What you do when once you um get the size of your um your wire, get your little round nose, curve like so, like that. That's it. And mess that back down. But whatever you do, make sure you mess this stuff down good because you don't need your customers sticking themselves, okay? You don't need them sticking themselves. So make sure everything is smooth and make sure it's smooth on the sides and so forth. I always test mine, okay? We're going to get a CB. Let's do a black. I don't want to pull a whole lot of them out. So, I'm just going to pull just a few. I need that. Definitely, y'all know that's what we're using. The CBs. And this here. Like this. That's it. Now, what you can do, you see how I, the reason why I say um, about two, one, about two inches of this here, because that gives you enough room to work with, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's see. This is what I always do. I always test myself. So if I curve it, I'm going yeah, to cut out some of this. 
and sometimes I don't, but I'm gonna cut off just a little bit more. I'm gonna cut off about another little inch or whatever. But whatever y'all do, y'all make sure y'all have these little pieces that y'all cut off. Make sure you put them to the side and you know where they're at. Okay? Make sure you put... Sometimes I'll be done cut this here too short. And I hope I didn't do that with this. And always curve your top like your bottom. So since it's going to the front, I need to make sure I curve this to the front. Like so. Okay? I'm finna curve that back. So I didn't mean to do that, but let me show y'all. Since I had already did, I'm fixing to take this off, stretch it like this, put this on here like this, put this back like this, mash it just a little bit with my hand, and squeeze this back down, okay? So that one would not coat on. And I would put on. Let me let me just what I want to say too. Now y'all see right here where that bead look like it's it's done went in here. I was gonna tell y'all that next. That's because you you went to pressing down and it's done slid in here. So now guess what your girl gonna have to do? Since I already got this on. And I'm fixing to squeeze this here. Like this. Okay. That's on at the top, right? It does that. And I said I was going to use something else. Instead of doing one, I said I was going to do two. Let me show y'all what I had to do the other day. This here, my no better. And it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. After I was fixing to tell you guys, sometimes it your bead will go in there. And before I could get to tell you guys that it's done did just that. So this is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to open this up. Take this off along with this here bead and it broke. That's what I was fixing to tell you. Like I say, I want y'all to see my mess up as well. Okay? That's what I want y'all to see too. So I'm going to keep this here on there so I know where it's at. Remember, you're working with glass every time you work with a seed bead. Okay? You're working with glass. Go ahead and take this off. Take this back off. So when you see the video sometimes and you look and say, oh, they did that perfectly. Yeah, but I guarantee you they had to, some of them probably had to start over too. So I'm going to put that over there. So we do mess up now, okay? And I told y'all I want y'all to see my mess ups as well. And sometimes the hold, the hole on here guys could be bigger than the other hole and i'm thinking that's what it is with this one just to tear and depend on the bead see like this uh oh see like right here i can like see straight through this one now the other ones i would i had put on i couldn't hardly see through it so this what your girl is gonna do since since it wanna do that to me. Yes, it do. It wanna do that to me. Guess what your girl finna do? I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use that seed bead. On some of them I probably can. I'm going to use these. Right here. I think I'm gonna use the um uh, what you call it, guys? I can't use the CB, but I'm going to use um, these here. These here. My little um, spacers. 
with little beaded spaces. Y'all overlook that glitter on my hand, y'all. know we were just working with the glitter. I'm going to use these. Or you can also use these here. Okay? And I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's see how that'll work out real quick. I'm going to put some right there. And I'm going to put some right here. But I want the small ones. I don't want the big ones. I don't want the big ones. Okay? So we're going to do a couple, a couple of them on here. And like I say, you know, let's try these and we'll see if that works. We're going to try this again, okay? And we're doing this one. Let's see. Remember, curve, round nose. Okay. Let's see. And I know this won't go in there for sure. It will not go on the inside of it anyway, brother. But make sure, make sure, okay? Y'all listen to me now, you have enough. And by me looking at it, I hope I have enough since I'm using two at the top to curve, okay? Push that like that in the back. That's that glass CD. Okay, let's see. Now, let me say this. If you just want to do just the bottom like that, you can. But see, look. See what I was telling you? Mm -mm. So, I think what I'm going to do is probably just the bottom. Sort of have just that color to match the badge. To match the badge. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that works. Let's see. See. And what I could do, I can do and just put it on top. See? Cause that's what that's what we're supposed to be doing anyway. Duh. I had kind of lost clue track of what I was doing. We're gonna do it like this. Now maybe I can find a small um C D. They're like, do you got beads everywhere? Yes, I do. We working. We working. It's okay. I got them like that so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see. And I see them, so it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. They be like, Miss D, where your tray? Exactly. Where's my tray? The tray I got, remember I showed y'all that easy quick tip. I didn't feel like messing with that tray. I didn't want the tray. Um, let me see. I hope I got enough. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And I know some of this is going to take time, so I'm just going to show y'all some of this. Then that way I can really get down and just show y'all what I want. So y'all can see it. And that is it. That's how we, that's what I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the spacers. I'm going to use the spacers. And. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all do 
See, now you just made you a beaded charm. But make sure it's in this hook. Make sure it is in here. Even though some of them will be kind of tight, but you fix it as loose as you want it to be. How, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you because you know how you do your work. Like I say, each is on. But when you put these little hooks on here, you made them yourself. Well, maybe if I bring it down some, y'all can see. Y'all should have said, Miss D, now you know we can't see that. Make sure, whenever you, since you're making your arm, make sure they're in this little curve right here. Right here. Make sure it's in that curve, okay? I don't want this video to be too long, guys. So we're going to do one more. That's that one. And that's this one. Y'all see? That one, that one, and all of them have the same, they'll be the same, but some of them just have different seed beads, okay? That's what they'll do. And so the next time y'all see these, let's make one more. We're going to do one more. Okay, let me take this off so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. You know you're gonna need CDs. Let's do a pink one. Let's do a pink one. CDs up there. And I'm gonna do uh yeah. I want to do one with the bright pink. Well, let me do one with this here pink. This here little transparent bead. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to do one more. And then I'm going to do the rest of them off camera, guys, because I don't want the video to be too long, okay? I don't want the video to be too long. So, remember, we're going to use the spacers, okay? We're going to use these spacers. Um, let's do this one. Actually, I've got to put an epoxy on that one. And we're going to use this right here. Okay. And we're going to leave that bead right there because I'm not picking up these beads right now because I'm going to work with them off camera whenever I'm done with this video. And we're going to take these off. Since we used that last time, since we're using these, we probably won't have to put as many. Let's see. Let's see right quick, okay? Let's see right quick. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this some more. Okay. Curve this. Make sure, like I said, that this here is smooth to the side. You don't want your own customers hurting themselves, okay? Uh, let's see. We use the CB first. Let's see what this is. How big this one will be here? Here. That's how that one look. Let's see, guys. Remember, you when you're working with CBs, but just remember it's glass. I repeat, remember it is glass, okay? 
so some of them will be a little lengthier than others because of the space of be you're using right here to cover the hole because the majority of the time the little seed bead will go inside this bead okay no if you don't have this little round nose you can use the little flat heads like i was just doing a minute ago i'm gonna pull this back leave that like a hook like so I'll pin this down and the next time y'all see these they will be on um all charms okay they would definitely be all charmed up See? once you get started guys it, it does not take long and y'all know how it is easier when you're off camera you get to going and you're doing what you do because you know what you're doing like that and that's it y'all see how i did that one and then i will have the um silver going all the way around them and they love them too somebody a customer asked me about some the other day and i said well i guess i can make some so this is the week I'm supposed to have them out, and I'm just going to post them for these here just be for my local um, customers. And that is it. That's it, y'all. So, like I say, I'll, I, I would definitely be using just these here. I hope I have enough. I think I do. I think I counted down enough. Um, on here, and I would definitely use the spacers like these. And I think I have a different other kind of spacer, too, that I can use. I'm going to check to see, but I want them kind of small to go on there. And that is it. Okay. Make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe to the channel. The next time you guys see these, they will have charms on them. Okay. They will have charms on them. I'm trying to find... Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to put like a metal charm on here. It's just a bit of beauty charm. so y'all can see and that's it so it's very easy easy peasy guys it's easy peasy it's easy peasy if I can get this to stand up it'll be easy peasy Cause I want y'all to see how they look, what they look like, and what they look like. Okay. Hold on. One minute. We're just gonna do that like that, and do these like this. Okay. And we know the other ones over there, around the corner, right there on the side, right here. We already know they're drying. They, I know they're dry, but we know, y'all already know that's what they are, okay? Yeah, that's it. And that's it. And that is it, y'all. 
that's how you make a beaded charm guys like i say if you're looking to um for more in-depth on the beaded charms just look up on the video in the um links and i definitely have some of those in there of how you can make just the beaded charms so these are considered as charms remember we did these right here with the um nail polish on that side if you do not want to use the mesh bling or whatever else you got going on if you want to use the um paint you can do that as well it's totally up to you your preference whatever you decide to do okay but make sure you guys like and comment and subscribe to the channel make sure your post notification bell is on so you don't miss a video in time is d upload over here at closet says i'm out guys